Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is One of One, but you can call me Seven, and we are, uh, we're hopping around Colin's memories. I think I said this last time, but I'm uneasy. I don't feel good about what's happening. And the big thing that's been nagging at me ever since, uh, I played last was, who's Faye? Who is she? And why isn't she in his life anymore? It's worrying to me. And then the line that she said last episode about, um, anything being a melody with the right accompaniment. Just got a bad feeling. I know that this game is probably going to break me. So, um, let's just get moving. Let's see what else this game has in store for us. Okay, so our, our memento is the tires. And we have the other one. The other orb. What's wrong with him? The joy of being a parent, probably. Can we catch Asher? Come here. Okay, we can't catch him. The lady seems to be gone on the other side, so let's just- there are only two for this one. So let's prepare the memory and then get moving. Alright, we're moving. We're back to when he- oh, he's- he's older now. Yep. He's gonna become a teenager soon, if he's not already. Same playground, I think? Hmm, maybe different. He's just become a teenager, though. Is that a honey badger? Those things are really dangerous. <laughs> I think badgers in general are pretty dangerous, aren't they? Okay, regardless. Oh, paper airplane. Hitting him in the head. Mmm. I don't like it. 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 I'm not. I'm not excited for this as they get older. Not ready. Been waiting for me, huh? What took you so long? Sheesh, I made it, didn't I? Or, I made it, didn't I? I got a life, you know. Whoa! She can do a cartwheel! Where'd you learn to do that? Actually, I can't even tell if that was a cartwheel. It looked like she rolled over her front. It's called talent. Come on, weren't you gonna show me your school? Okay, so they do, they go to different schools. Are you gonna stay- are you gonna stay for our band practice as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, lead the way, okay. Just don't- Aw, don't they remind you of us when we were young? Not. One. Bit. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? So, not the paper airplane. Not part of the memory, or an important part of the memory. So, I guess this is high school now, perhaps? And he's taking her on a tour. Yeah, I was just about to say, this school does look familiar. Those steps in particular, on the right there, they look familiar. Small world. But then again, I guess many of the geezers here grew up in the same area. I guess so. Damn, I guess canonically they went to the same school then, huh? This is cute. Taking them through empty classrooms. Or taking taking her through empty classrooms. This is where we have our art class. Neat! Are any of these drawings yours? No, mine got thrown out. These are the good ones. I can't remember if this is high school or not. It might be a middle school, but who knows. And then, you got anything else to say? I just don't know how they do it. I wish I could draw half as good. Dude, me too. I can't draw, uh, worth anything. I wish I could. Drawing's really cool. Art in general is hard. But okay, we've got these classrooms. Let's see. First. And I sit right over there. <laughs> Although, I'm probably gonna move soon. How come? Well, I sat with this odd girl because we're both really quiet, but recent... Well, she's been hanging out with someone. A lot. So? So they'll want to sit together, of course. They're bumping you off? Let me beat them up for you. Oh, it's nothing like that. They just look happy together, so I should get them to sit at the same table, right? Is this... Is this who I think it is? Is this... Are they the same age? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 but, but, but... Colin is older now, he's elderly now, and he's dying. And they said at the beginning of the game that Johnny was a while ago. Maybe he wasn't that old? No, he was though. Shoot. I can't tell if it's if he's talking about this girl who's really odd and odd and quiet, if that's River. Okay. What's next? Is the cafeteria locked? Nah, I just don't like going in there. There are plenty of other nicer and quieter places to eat at. Hmm. Interesting. 
What's in here? The one class everybody slacks off at, and you actually work? Uh, I like these classes. If you really try hard, you can create entire worlds in them. How cool is that? Well, that does sound like your thing. This is adorable. I hate it. It's gonna kick my ass. At least I think it will. Jesus Christ. We're centering, we're getting close now to that, um, that center point where we're spiraling in to the gravitational well that Eva mentioned. Okay, what's this here? Oh, it's practice. I see, I see. Playing scales on an orchestral level now, huh? She taught him well. So he's in an orchestra, he's in an orchestra now. Oh, is he looking at us? Oh no, he's looking at her. Wave, wave. Oh no, she fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Well, all right. That's kind of rude. I can almost hear her snores through the strings. I can almost see her snores. And it looks like we're using a clock again for our next memento. We've had a lot of the same mementos. And I don't know if that's weird or not. But I guess we're heading back. We're going to be out of middle age soon. And heading into uh, just being young in general. Closer to my age. You know, if Faye was so important that he recalls so much about her even now... Oh yeah, he might have Alzheimer's. That was what they said. The two of them, anyway. Uh, what happened to her? We haven't seen any traces later on. I have a few guesses. Dagnabbit. This job would kill me, actually. It would destroy me for sure. Is this a hospital? Please say no. Please say that this is not a hospital. Oh, it's a police station? Uh-oh. Is that him? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, he was a pilot. He was a pilot. An airline pilot hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're also running. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Oh, God, this is a hospital. Who are you? The wrong room, sorry. Okay. Shit. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry, Fia. The storm grounded my plane back all day, and I just... You made it. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize before but now I can tell she has a white streak in her hair, which is very cute. Is that... <laughs> what else do you think it is, man? It's your son. Oh. Honey, you're vibrating the baby. <laughs> I'm just gonna be right back. Hmm? What do you mean by that, dude? You look like... You're not ready for this. Are you okay? Did you, like, did you need a second? What even is that? What, what, what did you just grab? Are you, like, scared and worried? Are you scared about being a father? That's natural. You just, you, you held your baby and you needed to walk outside for a minute? You're happy though, right? Of course I am. It's just that... It's just what? I don't know. I, I was in such a rush to get back and suddenly seeing him here... I guess I just needed a moment for it to sink in. Hey, it's okay. I feel it too, you know? But, well... Maybe it's, they, it's as they say. 
maybe we're never meant to feel ready. How could I, when I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday? But you are. You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. I don't know what changed, but you're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. <laughs> I couldn't even make it here when he was born. Oh hey, we didn't know he was so eager to meet us early. What matters is you're here now and we're gonna be okay. Aw, that's, that's so sweet and understanding. I mean, I'd understand if she was upset, you know? It's very, um... This feels like a healthy relationship between the two of them. I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Oh, it's a paper airplane. Okay. <laughs> oh. There you go, hold your son, man. No, I guess the paper was just for a paper airplane then. Nothing too important, I think. Yeah. We're gonna be okay. Jesus Christ. Regret absence. Gonna be okay? Is the... Yeah, okay, that's a memento. Okay, I mean, if you say so. I don't feel good about this, but we'll keep going. How could I when I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday, but you were different? You are different. Even from when I first met you. Okay, we're back. We are, we're really back. We're like almost back at the, nearly the same time, it seems. Why are we over here now? What the hell? Uh, wow, far out. Where is he? Did we get drifted from the spawn point? Don't worry, I got this. What, 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 what are you going to do? Huh? What, what are you going to do? Are we gonna toss Eva? We could just, shh. Look, Neil, all we need to do is get over that wall. I don't know what you're planning, but let's try and keep it simple. Don't worry. It doesn't get any simpler than this. Oh my god, it's a grappling hook. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Is that? Hook shot. Damn it. You can't. I mean, I guess it's not trademarked. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. I've always wanted to try this. All right, I guess it's straightforward enough. Hiya! <laughs> the Legend of Zelda, the late. Oh, what a classic. Very nice. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Do I give him a lot or a little? I'll try and let him succeed. Or is it too much? I can feel it, Eva. What? This hookshot. Is the hookshot that will pierce the heavens? Gurren Logan? Or Gurren Logan? I don't know how you guys pronounce it. The drill that will pierce the heavens? Is that is that the point? Oh my god, did it? Oh, it's the moon. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can't... You... you Dude, come on. <laughs> Dude, unshrink Pluto, Pluto and put it back in orbit right now. Relax, it was copy-paste, not cut-paste. Not to mention, in part, procedurally generated. Now, let me just turn on its localized gravity. Wait, what? Cool. What is wrong with you? What? You said it was alright to use my hook shot. Now, let's just turn off gravity and... You, you suck, Neil. Actually, that's really funny, though. Bye, Pluto. Thanks for the lift. It's not even a real planet. Your face isn't a real planet. At least it wasn't Uranus. What was that? Nothing. Let's get going. All right. What have we got down here? Hmm? How are you going to break my heart now after that brief moment of uh, brevity? Huh? Talk about staying up past bedtime. Are you going to toss something? Don't even bother? Don't even bother trying? It's not gonna fly over, you know. We're too far apart. So, are you ever gonna finish telling me that story? Huh? The one with the injured bird you found when you were a kid. There's not much to it. You know how it goes. 
bird had a broken wing, and I took care of it for a while. The vet took it in afterwards, but... But what? But I tried to steal the bird back. You thought you'd take better care of it? Of course not. I knew I shouldn't have. Then why? Because it was my only friend, I guess. I just didn't want to let it go. Wow, what a load of sappy saccharine. <laughs> it really interesting. So, first off, this this in scene in its entirety, it's just very romantic by nature. Uh, the fact that, you know, it's probably not windy. The, the moon is out tonight. You can see each other without, without any light. It's probably quiet enough that they can just talk normally and their voices will drift back and forth between um, the balconies. Especially because his is a little raised, I think. She's on a lower floor, I, I think. But... What happened, man? This seems like they're close. I might give you a handkerchief for a dog or even a cat, but a bird? I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Everyone I told that story to either thought that or got bored to sleep. Yeah, can't help you there. But everyone goes into things with their own context, you know? Maybe it's only fair that they didn't care much for it. Maybe the bird was something different to you than it was to them. Ooh, what are they trying to say here? That's my question. What's that supposed to mean? Or maybe you just sucked at telling that story. I just wanted them to relate. Yeah, how did that work out for you? Not every story's meant to be told, you know. Some of them are meant to be kept. So, how did it end? I... I think the bird flew off. I think I lost it, but it came back to say goodbye one day. You think? I don't know. I kept on mixing up reality with daydream back then. I guess I was living in my head a little too much. You gonna try it? Huh. You're getting better at this. I used to daydream about taking off on a big paper plane, you know. We'd fly all over the world, seeing all kinds of sights. We? And I could just fly across. From balcony to balcony. That's sweet. Well, that's dumb. You can't fly on paper planes, silly. No, duh. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad... This is fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is, this is messed up. This is, this, this, this? Freebird Games? Kangao? This is messed up. What's wrong with you guys? Why would you do this? To me? Why? Huh? Why don't you go and become a pilot? So she's the reason, huh? That he became a pilot? <laughs> and wh whoever just ended up in his life afterwards never knew? Or maybe even worse, did know? About this? Though I'm only making assumptions about what happened. You're serious? Yeah, why not? What do you mean, why not? One doesn't simply just go and become a pilot. Why doesn't one? Because how? Well, planes take off from airports, right? It doesn't hurt to find one, find out and ask. That's... If only it could be that simple. If you just let it be, maybe it could. Oh, man. This girl's mentality. I love this girl's mentality. Faze kind of got it. She might be simplifying. And, you know, might be a little reductive, but... Also, wait. I see their instruments out here. Would they play together? To each other? Across the roof? I should go, Colin. I know. Hey, I'm going to look for that airport tomorrow. Huh. Flying. Well, the friendly girl next door would be one way to get inspired to fly, I guess.
Yeah, oh, he's older. Oh, there's Pac-Man poster. Wow, seems like you ran into a poster sale. Or puberty. The poster... Wait, the poster of what? Of a horror movie. Didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> the balcony room like this, his parents sure are confident in his sleepwalklessness. I mean... Oh, 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 oh. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, Faye said, why don't you go and become a pilot? So this green book from the shelf is just a journal? Seems legit. And why is it empty? Hmm? Why is it empty in the present? I keep skipping things on accident. That looks familiar. It's about... It's the same place as the painting hanging above his bed in his elderly days. I also saw this exact picture in the attic earlier. For a teenager, he sure had some old-fashioned taste in posters. Poster of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and barrier reef. Okay, got it. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Back we go. I wonder if, as an adult now, this will be before he met Sophia? We'll find out. Alright, he's a younger pilot now, and he has his journal with him. So he's close, he's like, in a, like he's, he's like young, late young, early middle aged, so it would seem. So much for the cliffhanger of whether he became a pilot, huh? More like cliffhanger, R. <laughs> I hated that. Oakland Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level, Tree Niner Zero. Cactus 135, Oakland Center, al altimeter set, al altimeter setting 3007, see ya. Altimeter 3007, Cactus 135 out. Altimeter? Altimeter? Shh, damn. See Greenhorn? See Greenhorn? Oh my god, I can't speak. You gotta play by the rules and use improper radio words. Every single time. Even when you're not on the radio at home to your wife. But the chief, the chief instructor said, Do I look like the chief instructor? Is her face also endowed with this award-winning mustache? Don't think I'll be going easy on you just because this is your first flight with a company. <laughs> My first officer, there are only two things I ever want to hear from you. They're, yes, captain, and landing gear down. That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? No, you don't, sir. What did I just say about the only two things I expect to hear from you? Yes, captain. So I do look funny to you? Uh, landing gear down? <laughs> Son of a gun. They send me all the brainless pretty ones. <laughs> Damn. This can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes? I hope. Captain Ernst and his award-winning mu uh, mustache. To not send me a gourd. And what do they do? They send me a gourd. Yes, Captain. Is this our memento? No, it's not. It's just some sort of a pre-flight pre checklist glued on there. Okay, and then is there anybody in the back? Nope, still him. Did he have a good landing? Well, that was the first day. Charlene. Is Captain- Oh, it's a, probably a flight attendant. Is Captain Ernst always like that? I barely did a thing but sit there. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get used to that for a while. Forget about him, though. You got any plans for the night? The other flight attendants and I were thinking of taking you out for some drinks to celebrate. Oh, tell them thanks, but I'd better head straight back home. My wife's just about halfway into her first trimester. I'm away for long enough as it is. Wow, double congrats. Got a name picked yet? Yeah, we're thinking Asher. Okay, and the hat is the memento. Understood. Well, we're getting lots of development now. We're getting lots of pieces that don't necessarily fit together in the slightest. So now we just got to figure out what's going on for real. Now we are... Oh, still a kid. At an airport now, perhaps. That that picture of an airplane on the wall is a little tongue-in-cheek, don't you think? Go on, ask him! Oh, are you going to ask a pilot about how to become a pilot? Perhaps? Um, excuse me. Are you an airline pilot? It's a small municipal airport, kid. You won't find any airlines here. I'm a charter pilot. You looking to charter a plane? I'm looking to learn to fly. Can you teach me? Looking for an early start, huh? Sounds like you want to talk to the flight school instead. Make a turn up ahead and follow the hall. They'll deal with you at dispatch. See? I told you it's worth a try. Damn, okay. Anything about this hat? Turn up ahead, blah, blah, blah. Anything to say about the airplane on the wall? No? Okay. 
So, we go up ahead. Here we go. Hey, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Yeah, trying to find out how to become a pilot. Oh, that's simple. You get an instructor and you train. I'm actually working on my own license. Halfway done, in fact. Isn't it expensive to train? Yeah, but that's why I'm working here part-time. The pay's not much, but the discounts on the training flights help. Hmm. Okay. I bet he knows something about it. A painting of a... That's a biplane. This was the painting hanging in Colin's attic in the present day. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what else. Who's this guy? This looks like a different person. Give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn? I feel like that should be a reference I might get. Who knows? Also, do they draw this? What in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. Maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamics sake. Who cares? It's got extra propulsion coming out its butt. Sure. Good job, Faye. Very cute. So she was the reason that he became an airline pilot, huh? Hmm. There are airplanes outside. I bet this is where they dispatch them. We do offer flight training and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. Is there any other way at all? Well, it's not up to me to say, but why don't you check with the owner? He's on break right now and I'll let him know you're coming. Of the entire airport? Yep, it's his family owned airport. His office is at the other side of the hall. It's family owned. What does that mean? It means it's owned by a family. Duh, you idiot. And also that it's probably mafia. Mafia? I, I, I what mafia? And I'm behind you, you know. Just like in The Godfather. God damn it. Faye, you are being goofy as hell. Silly kids. Well, let's go see what the, uh, the owner of the airport has to say. Anything in particular? Oh, oh god. What's gonna happen here? Why is it dark? Oh, it's Godfather. That's why. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. So, you're the kid they told me about. <laughs> Look, sir, I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. There's word out on the street that you want to become a pilot. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> But you have no experience. No, sir. No background. No. <laughs> and you have no money. I don't, sir. <laughs> Yet yeah, you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam. <laughs> I can't do- I'm sorry! I can't do a good godfather! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <sighs> to request my hospitality to make use of my own facility without an offer. Do you disrespect me at my family's airport? Oh my god. Psst, tell him you've got strong arms and can help out around the airport. Um, I got reasonably strong arms. Are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are. Y yeah, I am. Interesting proposal. The spotlight doesn't move with him. Positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could use a hand. Very well, your offer is one I won't refuse. An offer you can't refuse. Another amaretto sour, Ricardo, and hold the amaretto. <laughs> oh my god. Kid, you work for me now. And with the earnings, you shall pay for your training one flight at a time. Quick, thank him and step back. So thank you for your kindness, sir. See, you did it. Wait a minute, all that's happened is that is just that I applied for a job. Shh, you're practically the underboss now. Oh my god. So, uh, assuming exaggeration of memories, is this like racist to Italians? <laughs> I can't tell. Italian isn't a race, Neil. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Hey, maybe that's just what he gets for watching that movie when he's eight. Oh, so that was, okay, was watching The Godfather. Dang, I feel silly. I haven't watched The Godfather. I guess I'm being exposed for that. Let's see if the Dawn has anything for us. Uh, any, any memento anywhere? That's a cat and it's on its side. I think the cat broke. Um, an amaretto sour drink without the amaretto. That's the memento? Huh. Okay, well, 
I think that's all the time that we have for today, guys. Uh, it's just been a lot of exposition. A lot of pieces, again, that don't really fit together, and they will suddenly all click together, and then I'll want to die. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did, and I will see you guys in the next video. So for now, have a good rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs>